Uh, life changes when you have kids, that's certainly true. Uh, I think there's nothing more frightening than the first night at home with a newborn as a new parent. That's scary shit, man. The first night when you come home. And I think my son could tell that we were a little wound up because he had this look on his face like he was going, can I talk to a manager? Is there anybody? <laughs> What happened to the nurse lady that was around for the last few days? She seemed to know what she was. No, 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 you guys are wonderful. Is there a, a supervisor here that I could talk to? But it all changes when you have your second kid. You know, that first time you have a kid and you're in the delivery room and you're waiting, you see your baby for the first time. That's a magical moment. It's a very grand moment. That's like proof of a higher power moment. You know, you're like, holy shit, this is the fucking miracle of childbirth. This is my baby. We created this child out of our love. I will forever remember this moment in time. This is beautiful. The second time you see your baby for the first time and you go, oh, fuck. Because <laughs> you know what you're getting into the second time around. You know how bad it sucks. <laughs> you know, I mean, having a kid is great, but just that first three months just fucking blows donkey dick so badly. It's just so bad. And you can tell, like, the enthusiasm for being a parent wanes with every kid. You know what I mean? The more kids you have, the less pictures you take. Have you ever noticed that? First kid, 10,000 fucking pictures a day. It's like flip book animation. You can watch the kid grow up, right? Second kid, yeah. Special occasions, birthdays, milestones, first steps. Third kid, you know what? I got my hands full, I'll remember this moment, all right? I'll just, <laughs> mental snapshot, we're good, I'm moving on, man. I'm the fifth of five kids, there's like, no, there's, I got like a pencil sketch of me <laughs> that a police artist did when they left me at a fucking rest stop. That's what, there's no evidence. You would think that I would just showed up at 18. Hey, what's up? You guys mind if I crash in the shitty bedroom that nobody wants? Having a good week, you guys. I'm having a good week. The week started on Monday. Right? I had shows in Denver this past weekend. I'm flying back from Denver. I'm in the airport sitting at... First of all, have you guys ever had an altercation with somebody? And then based on that altercation, you know you're going to have good days ahead of you? That's what happened to me. So I'm in the airport, Denver, Monday, sitting at the gate looking at pictures on my iPhone, just chilling, looking at pictures on my iPhone. All of a sudden, I see two feet stop right here. I look up, there's a lady glaring at me, very upset, very upset. So I said to her, is everything okay? And she goes, I saw you. It's like, huh? She goes, I saw you trying to take a picture of me. <laughs> Have you guys ever been accused of something that's so out of left field? and crazy, right, that the first thought that pops in your head comes flying out of your mouth immediately. And she goes, I saw you trying to take a picture of me. I was like, have you seen your face? <laughs> and then I saw her face ball up and get uglier. And I was like, ooh, I said that out loud. That's pretty fucked up. But she didn't say anything after that, you guys. She just walked away. And I felt warm inside, like the holidays inside of my body. Because I realized at that moment right there, that's the greatest insult to any person ever. You ever get hassled by somebody, hit them with that line, have some confidence about it, there is no comeback, right? Hey, have you seen your face? What could they possibly say back? <laughs> um, yeah. All right then, so you know what I'm talking about, ugly. Be nicer to people, you're hideous. Or whatever you want to say to them. By the way, the confident people are laughing right now. The confident people are laughing. It's about a third of you are laughing. That's good. Two thirds of the audience right now is just staring at me like, uh, I've seen my face. I don't like this shit. One bit. Move on, dude. Move on. If you guys want to see that chick, she's on my Instagram at Mel Hall. Hashtag. Have you seen your face? She was hideous. You guys, she caught me. You have to think on your feet sometimes. Now, I watch TV late at night, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't even watch the fucking shows. Fuck that. I watch the commercials. Yeah, they got the dumbest shit. Like, what the fuck is this, y'all? What is that? Come on, America.
Let's get it in. <laughs> it's even the guy does too much. Right? Oh, oh, oh. oh, the burn, man. They got one for the ladies, like the smaller ones. That looks nasty, right? Yeah, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> this doesn't look weird. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> She hits a little button, a little spritz comes out. <laughs> ah, make it rain! I'm multitasking. Skate, skate. Ay, que calor. Love the commercials. You want to catch me with a commercial? You know what you do? Put a catchy jingle to that shit. I come from music. You put a catchy jingle on a fucking commercial, I'll buy shit I wasn't even thinking about buying. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. I need some fucking insurance. I stop driving without no insurance. Hot pocket. Hell yeah, I want a motherfucking hot pocket. I'm high as hell. Give me two. Eight, six, six. 66 faster, you got the green light. I don't even know what the fuck that's for, man. I call it every day. <laughs> You're like, motherfucker, stop calling us. I'm sorry. <laughs> so fucking catchy. My name is Kristen Key, as you mentioned, um, but you're probably just going to remember me as... That girl we saw, remember that she kind of looked like what would happen if Ellen has a baby with a mean lady from Glee? <laughs> it's not that funny. Um, now it's just hurtful. No, I get those two a lot, uh, and usually they're not told to me, it's shouted like, Ellen! <laughs> Uh, not a compliment. Um, it's not always a compliment to tell somebody that they look like a celebrity. If it's an old celebrity, or, or maybe like an ugly one, you know? Like, what if somebody walked up to you, sir, and was like, oh, wow, you look just like Steve Buscemi? <laughs> You'd be like, well, fuck you! <laughs> they just don't come across the way people meet them. I was in Target the first time someone told me I look like that lady from Glee. Her name's Jane Lynch, and she's very talented and very funny. But I was standing in Target. I didn't know this woman. She comes up, she goes, oh my God, has anyone ever told you you look just like Jane Lynch? All I heard was, oh my God, has anyone ever told you you look just like an old lesbian? <laughs> well, not today. Times are tough. I was at my buddy's apartment recently, drinking Sanka, chit-chatting, stealing his neighbor's Wi-Fi, and, uh, he pulls this envelope off of his coffee table and he goes, look at this, jury duty. How am I gonna get out of this? And I was like, look man, you're 35, unemployed and live in Detroit. If I were you, I would probably take it just for the paycheck <laughs> at this point. Unless you've cooked up some pyramid scheme that involves you taking bong rips and playing Xbox. I don't really see a lot of career opportunities coming down the pike, my man. And he said, I know how I'll get out of it. I'll just say I'm racist. I'll just say I'm racist. Yeah, you are racist. He said, I'm not a racist, Mike. I said, listen, if your plan to get out of jury duty is to say that you're racist, that means you're automatically assuming that whoever's on trial is going to be a minority. <laughs> Which is textbook racism, basically. He said, well, I heard that if you say you're racist, they have to let you out of jury duty. I said, have you ever served on jury duty? He said, no. I said, well, I have. And they don't pull you aside and ask you in private why you're unable to be a juror. So good luck declaring, hey, everybody, I'm a racist in a crowded courtroom in downtown Detroit. <laughs> I applaud your bravery. That was three weeks ago. I haven't heard from that guy since. He's, de he's definitely dead at this point. I went on a date with a girl here in LA, that's difficult. I know there's a lot of differences between guys and girls, but I'm gonna point out a pretty obvious one, okay? 
So I went out with this girl. She, she had a very fit body. She was very attractive. And she came home and she took some clothes off. And I said to her, like she had a really good body. And I said to her, wow, you got a much better body than I thought you did. I know, all right? Even as I said it, I've like gone, you probably shouldn't have fucking said that. Because she's looked at me and gone, oh, you thought I was fat, didn't you? And I went, oh, no, not at all. I thought you had a good body. It turns out you have a better body. And I was just digging a hole, so I shut the fuck up. <laughs> 20 minutes later, we're fooling around, and she goes, oh, you have an average-sized dick. <laughs> and I said, fuck yeah. <laughs> that is the difference between guys and girls, OK? I said she had an awesome body. She cracked the shits and thought I called her fat. She said I had an average sized dick and I was fucking thrilled about that. <laughs> because every guy in this room knows there is two dick sizes. There's two small and there's average and above. You just want to be average and above. You don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't even think guys with big dicks know they got big dicks, really. Because dicks fluctuate in size that much, you can never tell what's going on. Like you girls might think, oh yeah, it goes in the water, shrinks a little bit. No. Just for no reason, your dick looks like a completely different person from day to day. You can, you can never tell. I've got out of the shower, I caught a glimpse of myself and gone, holy shit. That is the best my dick has ever looked. I've got to take a picture or show my housemate or something. Oi, Gary! Gary, come and have a look at my dick. It looks amazing. What? Of course no, homo. Come and have a look at it. Looks like it's going to prom, it's breathtaking. I don't clap for me, I'm calling the NBA commissioner. <laughs> Tell them y'all racist as fuck. All y'all banned from the comedy. Laugh at me for life. Well, I can look at the crowd and tell none of my people got the email, so I don't know how this gonna go. We just gonna throw some jokes out. I don't know you, you a token, I don't know. You a plant, put you up front to make me feel comfortable. You mixed too, you ain't even all the way black. Hey, that go one, hey sister, how you doing, girl? You better smile, I ain't see you right there. All right, there it is. All right, ma'am. My name is Finesse Mitchell. I feel like I gotta say that even though I've been on a lot of shows, I gotta say that. You know what I mean? Some people don't know who they came to see, they just came out to a show. Cause I was talking to one girl in the lobby for like 15 minutes and at the end she said, Finesse Mitchell, I just hope he funny. I'm like, bitch, it's me, I'm the dude. I'm the guy you came to see. I wasted 15 minutes of my damn life talking to you. <laughs> yeah, man, I just got back from Jacksonville. And ain't a lot going on in Jacksonville. <laughs> I was trying to find shit too. I was on my little, cause I got a new iPhone and I'm so addicted to the voice recognition thing, but it don't recognize, I guess my accent. You know what I mean? <laughs> cause I'd be like, titty bar. And they'd be like, shitty bar. I'm like, no, titty bar. Shitty bar. No, there are 15 shitty bars in your area. Come on. Three of them are fairly close to you. Fuck it. Like Let's go to the damn shitty bar. Then. But now I'm back here in LA. All this stuff going on with the Clippers and stuff, man. How about that? Can't even turn to any, every channel got Donald Sterling and everybody on it. I turned to the Disney channel and I saw the NBA come in. I said, fuck, this shit is everywhere. <laughs> History channel was had Donald Sterling on that shit. He has been hating black people since Jesus was born. <laughs> hmm. I know his ass is at the game tonight. That man been going to that building for goddamn, what, 20 plus years? You think he ain't up in that game? That man is up in that game. He might be dressed like Mrs. Doubtfire, but that motherfucker is up in that game. <laughs> Sitting on the third row. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Thank you! I wrote that in the car. Oh. <laughs>